Hey, hey. How y'all doing? So I'm just here at the little gun range here, the, uh, the non-restricted version, I guess you can call it. <laughs> so, got a couple guns here. I got my earmuffs on. I really like these. I got these a long time ago. I can turn the volume up on them so I can hear more stuff, and it dims, so if I snap my fingers, the volume goes down. I guess there's a, a volume threshold, and the volume just drops, and I like these. Highly recommend. No, this is not, uh, nobody sponsored me, but I like them. Uh, M&P by Smith & Wesson. Now, the only complaint I do have about these is that when the battery gets a little bit low, they get very... <coughs> like, if there's a little little breeze and it's passing by like, the microphone, it's just... <coughs> maybe that's a warning sign, maybe that's by design, but that's my one, my one issue with it. But other than that, it's... Uh, I like it. Anyways, got a couple guns for you guys today. I guess I'll start with with this one. Why do I need that? I don't need that now. So we'll start with this one. Some of you might recognize it. Winchester Model 94. 3030. I got it from a gun show uh, in Richmond, Ontario. <laughs> Richmond, Ontario. I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh. oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, I mean, it came with a few nicks, but then I took it off my. I took all the wood off myself, and whenever I buy a firearm, I I go through the whole thing, the every nook and cranny, and hit, take every every piece apart and I look at it and figure out the gun and it's also a good way to clean it I'd, I'd recommend it if you ever buy a new gun take the whole thing apart just even if it's a new gun take the whole thing apart and learn learn the damn thing so anyways took the wood off uh, give it a little sand down try to get all the nicks off and give it a nice high gloss or not high, semi semi gloss uh, yeah Anyways, it's accumulated a couple more scratches. I don't know if you can see any, but that's just been in my care. There's one, there's one here, but this is uh, the rougher rifle, I'll call it. Um, it is a post, uh, what is it, 64, 67, it is post 60s, so it's not the, ooh, the special kind. Now, if you don't know what the special kind is, apparently before... I think it's 64. Something in my mind says 64, but, but before 64, uh, I guess uh, they were made better, better quality. Winchester put better parts in them, and, and just they were less faults with the gun. Maybe it was smoother. I've never had an experience with it, but after reading some forums and after I bought the gun, I looked up the serial number to see when it was when it was made. And when I was reading on forums, they were they were mentioning, "Ooh, the pre or post 64." So. It is a post 64. I am sorry, everybody, to to disappoint you, Father. Why have you forsaken me? Nice. I guess close up as another neck. So I added a little bit. Uh, it's just it's JB fucking wild, but it's just to try and engage the like it's my own thinkings just to be able to engage the trigger just a little bit earlier so criticize if you want i've tried it i uh, just figured it's uh, just thought of the idea and kind of went with it so it hasn't done any issues um but i really don't know if there's any benefit to the fucking thing the gun's 400 bucks so I'm, I'm down a toy with it a little bit again it's at a gun convention or a gun show so, anyways, let's put some stuff and put some put some rounds in it. A little nifty gun belt here from Etsy. I think it's Amish. Amish Leatherworks. Or, oh, I wish I could remember the name at this very moment to give a quick shout out. But Etsy. I'll leave that one there. Etsy. Uh, Amish Leather Craft. Anyway, just slipping them out of the gun belt and 
put them in like so. I'll put my earmuffs on. There, turned up the music a little bit. Those water targets, <laughs> they definitely make it a bit more funner. Yeah, it's getting a little hot on the other end. I'm left handed, so that's why my right hand's getting a little warm. Yeah, works like a charm. And the other gun here is a Kui, Kui, C-O-O-E-Y. It is Ontario made. Represent Ontario made. This gun was my grandfather's. It's a little compass that he decided to put on. I think it was for one of my grandma's coats. I think a button or something like that. And decided to put a little compass on it, so. Good on him, right? It's a hunting gun. Gonna need a compass, probably. Yeah, Kui. I like it. Little 22. Doesn't have a lot of kick on it, so I might take my ears off. I can show you the other side. The Model 60. Ooh, wee. Now this is another stock that I refinished myself. I mean, Grandpa's guns, it's gonna have a couple nicks on it, right? So. Ooh, the gloss on it. Wow, wee. Anyways. Put the scope on it. Oh, clearly the scope isn't, <laughs> isn't original. Uh, it is a red dot, little It'll point a little red dot on wherever I want. Oh, it's not turned on yet. Idiot. Um, eh. It's interesting how you load it. So it's a tube mag, but you take out the rod. You can take it out completely. Uh, it depends on how you want to load it. You can either load it right down the barrel, although careful because it might slide out the port here. So if you're trying to side, if you're loading it the gun upside down then yeah you can throw it throw them down the tube uh, but you can clearly see see a little notched out and that's where you're supposed to put the bullets and that's how I usually do it but it does come both ways if I'm not mistaken it holds 12 
12 long, 15 short. Well, I'll load her up, start shooting. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Cooey is around anymore, um, unfortunately. Good quality gun, but I guess it just doesn't compare to Mossberg and, and, and all those names. But it's a good gun. They've been around for a while. I'm sure a lot of people's grandfathers in Canada owned one of these if they had a gun. So the rod... It's kind of interesting how it works. So the rod had a little gray dingly dangle thing on it. Now when you look inside here, it helps push... Oh, Jesus Christ. I guess that's even better. You can kind of see it. So it the rod slides down with the whole tube mechanism. And it helps push the bullet up. It's better when it's empty, but anyway, it's, it's how it works. It's interesting. Interesting design. Turn on the red dot. And the safety is interesting as well. The safety is this notch right here. Safety off. Cooey Model 60. I like it. Little varmint gun. Does the trick. I like it. It's nice and smooth and yeah. Again, same thing like I mentioned with the other gun. I took the whole damn thing apart, learned it in and out. Yeah, fuck. I really like this gun. My grandfather, I inherited another gun uh, from my grandfather. I might do it in the next video. Uh, it is a New Haven, which is a Mossberg, I guess it's made by Mossberg, it's kind of like a, some car companies or like a BMW is actually, or, uh, yeah, a BMW is actually a VW, don't hate me, just facts, but uh, the New Haven, I'll, yeah, I'll show you in the next video, it's a, it's a shotgun, um, yeah, made by Mossberg, it's a, it's a nice one as well, but anyways, this video is not about that gun. I'll load it up again, shoot a few more. You gotta, the only flaw is that, yeah, I gotta cock the gun and, well, I guess that's most guns actually. Idiot. So I'll take the whole tube out or the whole, I'll show you the slidey thing of the, uh, the little dingle dongle, fucking little dingle, dingle dongle boys. So that when it comes up, it helps push the bullet up because it's on a bit of a swivel or it's on a little ball joint. Fucking geniuses. Fucking geniuses, boys.
I gotta say, it is March 4th today. It's Monday shifts, I can't remember. Um, it's 15 degrees out in Ontario. March 4th, 2024. 15 degrees in the beginning of March. That is, that is not heard of. And you can tell when you put too many in because it just sits there. So what I just did there is I just kind of flip the gun out and it, it falls out. I'm going to put the tube in. I showed him so, a couple of my friends this gun and they were, they're not big gun people. So when they started, saw me started doing this, they're like, oh my God, is that like a muzzle loader? No, no, it's not a muzzle loader. Not bad, not bad. A little shack of bullets here. Anyway, that was fun. Shooting off a few rounds and I got a few bullets to clean up here. Kind of ain't all about that shit. But yeah. Winchester model 94 and 3030 and a Cooey model 60 and 22. Ah. <sighs>